I bought this vintage music book at a garage sale. But as I'm looking at it, I see that it has crayon on it. So I'm going to try to remove the crayon marks. I picked this up at a garage sale. Isn't this awesome ephemera? It is a vintage music book from Salt Lake City, Utah. But I just noticed it has crayon marks all over the top of it. I picked this piece up due to the age of it and the graphics on here. I just thought it was fantastic with the little children playing and the songbird. I just thought it was so neat. And then what is this guy here? He's unusual. But I'm going to try to use this pencil to get this off of here without damaging the graphics. Now, again, this is not in perfect condition. This has a broken binding on it, but I thought the graphics are just too good not to save it. And I know that people sometimes use like music pages for all kinds of projects. You can do junk journaling with them or a million other projects. There's so many ideas around that. And you can still use the front of this. Let me see if there's anything on the back. I didn't even look on the back of it. Nope. The back is plain. Oh, it just has, um, out of the West comes a new process, Pioneer Music Press. And that's who created this book. No, let me look inside of it real quick. Okay, it's just regular music in there for someone with beginning piano lessons. So wish me luck. I'm going to try to take off this crayon. I'm going to be very, very gentle. Okay, I'm going to be very, very gentle with this eraser and just see what happens here. Okay, so some of it is coming off. Ooh. That came off better than I thought. I'm trying not to. It is taking off, I think, a little bit of the graphics, though. And I think the hard part is going to be down in here. Let's see what I can do without. You know, this is one of those things that I always think about the creative people and they would probably take something like this and not even be bothered with this. They might even take paint or something and like paint a design on it or somehow embellish this. You could do all kinds of things, but I'm not artsy. And so my thought is, is get this off of here. But. I'm wondering if there's somebody out there that's way more artistic than I am. And, you know, not only am I not artistic, but I have none of the supplies. You know, I don't have paints and brushes and things like that. Um, oh, my goodness. This is probably hurting some people's brains watching me do this because... It looks like I'm damaging the piece more than it is already damaged. I'm hoping maybe even just to fade this a little bit. Fade the green. See, some of it comes off pretty easy because it is crayon. And most crayons, I think, are kind of like waxy. What do you guys think? Put your ideas down in the comments. Um, should I keep working at it? I am going to list this up for sale. You know, it's funny. I just noticed up here, it says 10 cents right there. Somebody paid a dime for this. I think at the grad sale, I think I paid a dollar per book. So I think I might've paid a dollar for this. Oh, what's that in there? Oh, oh, it's another book. Oh, bonus. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, check that out. Well, somebody put their name on the top of it. Parade of Wooden Soldiers. And then it has all kinds of information over here. I'm trying to adjust my camera. Oh, I guess that's other pamphlets that you can buy, other music books. Ooh, that says Radio City at the bottom there. RCA building, Radio City, New York. This is interesting. So this is the music for the Parade of Wooden Soldiers. Oh, so now I have another piece. So I can sell this separate from this. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I never really opened this up to see. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's more in here. I had no idea. Now this has seen better days and looked like it has gotten torn. However, that would still look really pretty in a frame if it's cut off like right there. I love the little candles on that. Look at this scene. It's so funny because there's like an airplane hanging here and like a bird feeder. And there's, looks like mom and dad. And here comes their kids, maybe coming back from living away. Coming back for the holidays. Here's another. Here's just a, a, a little piece. Oh, by itself. That is so cute too. Wow, a little bit delicate too. All right, so here's another really delicate piece. It says, Softly Now, the Light of Day. I wasn't planning on uh, doing this as a haul. I was just wanting to clean that uh, the crayon off the front cover, but I had no idea there was other things in here. This is, and then these are just photocopies. Really old. Look how old. Old, so... You know, um, what was that uh, machine called when I was in elementary school? Oh, my goodness. When they first started, it was like mimeograph or something like that. They would do our lessons on it. The teachers would have to go down to the office and there was this big giant machine that they could run off, you know, say 25 copies of something so that we could have it. Okay, so this is just regular music here. Let me see. I'm going to go this way. And see if there's anything else tucked in these pages. Who knew? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm pretty happy about this. I paid a dollar for this book. And I got all these bonus items. Now, I don't think these are worth much. <laughs> Maybe I could put those in an ephemera pile where somebody can use it for junk journaling. These would be perfect for junk journaling or other projects. And this, this could possibly go in something like that too. And then this I can, I can sell separately. Wow. This was just such a surprise. I just wanted to show you guys how I was going to fix this. <laughs> and we got all this bonus footage. I am so happy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it says down there, look at the little birdie, Stan Samuel. Well, I'm going to keep working on this and see if I can clean it up just a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to get that off of there and then I'm just going to sell it as is. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Here is the finished product. I got most of that green crayon off of the front of this book. I thought it turned out fantastic. Did I mention that the copyright on this was 1944 by Moselle Renstrom? Here is some bonus footage. The other books that were underneath this is this kindergarten book. This golden songbook and the music hour in the kid kindergarten and first grade by Silver Burdett Bur and Company.
So I got these to list up separately. I initially was just getting these books out to list. And then I got all that bonus footage in this one.